Hi, Kelvin Pine is a PineGrow Reddit team based on Kelvin, a team created by Black Tie. So we'll start with a blank page. Um, and in order to use PineGrow plugin for this template, we have to first load it, the, the PineGrow plugin. So it's in PineGrow folder, Kelvin PineGrow plugin. Okay, and we also need to activate it for the current page. So we only have to do this once. Uh, once we save the page and reload it, the plugin will be already activated. And now you can see here in the lib section, we have various uh, elements which you, we can use to build our page. So let's start by a now bar, just drag it to the page. One useful approach is to set the zoom level to like low value, 10%. And in this way, we can have a bird's view of the whole page. And then when we drag elements on the page, everything is kind of, we can see where we are and what we are doing. So this is like the, the main picture. Then we need intersection. Section is the part where we'll actually write something about ourselves and our skills and experience. And we also have skills with animated graphs. We'll take a look at this later. Portfolio. footer and copyright notice. So now if we, we take a look at the page, you see, so it's very simple. We just drag the components from the lip panel to the page and we could also rearrange them. Um, again, to, to rearrange, it's useful to set the zoom level let's say we want to move the portfolio section so first we have to select portfolio section and then we can grab it by the move handle and just move it to the position where we want to have it um, and another approach is to move it within the outline tree this gives us very good con control over exact destination where we want to move something. Okay, let's take a look at the, at the site. So the first thing we'll want to change is the picture. And all the fonts, colors and image used on the page are defined as variables so that it is very easy to change them. And image header is here, just select, click on the small folder icon and then we can select the image. Okay. And while we are here at the variables, we can take a look what happens. So we can also change the, the colors. And just by changing one variable for main color, we change like headings, the, the background of intersection, uh, these labels so it's very convenient to experiment with with uh, new designs okay let's let's go back header picture also gives us a couple of options here in property panel so we can set the size full screen or large and we can also turn on caption background um, so this is useful when like the, the picture is such that we, we need the text is not visible. So then we can use the background. And remember the content, the text is placed in, in a column. So we can use like a bootstrap options for columns to control size and placement of the column. like this, for example, 
one more. And background of the caption is also uh, implemented as a variable here, color, header, caption, background. And again, we can change it to something else if we, if we want. Let's go down and let's say we want to add um, more items in the section. So if I select the section, then we get, first of all, we get the option which turns on and off bottom divider. See, now it's gone. And now it's back here. And also in, in lip section we can use quick insert links to add additional items to the selected section so we if we select skills we can add new skills item by dragging it from the lip section to the um, area on the page um, and you see what happened here. These uh, individual skills are uh, columns. So we have to set for the first in line, we have to also set the offset tree so that it's nicely aligned with other sections. Um, and again, like section implements a couple of options that lets us easy set the values for the charts we can also choose the colors also for like the not not selected part and this makes it very easy to edit the page. And like in, in PineGraph, you can edit all the text, all the elements. The best is, if you're not familiar with it, to check the, the online documentation. But basically, you just double click on any text and you can start changing it. I click on the image and choose a new photo to replace this one. You can also change the fonts used on the page. Now we have Google, we are using Google fonts and to select new ones, just go to Google fonts and get the, the link from Google, copy it, go back to PineGraph and then in CSS, Panel, we use manage style sheets and we say open URL so we'll be adding a new uh, a new style sheet that Google gave us gave us to the page but be careful we have to just use the the URL part not 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 the whole tag that was provided by Google add and then we also need to attach it to our page. And then we can use the font in variables. Here we have two fonts. So one is for headings, one is for text. Let's put it here, you see? And we are using another font. So just don't, don't forget, like once you're finished experimenting with fonts to go to manage and to detach all the font style sheets that you are not using on the page. One more thing about navigation, the template is using like the, the smooth scrolling. Um, but re remember one thing which is very useful in PineGraph, like for example, after you add dynamic elements, it's a good idea to go to page, refresh, to refresh the page, and to refresh all the JavaScript code and bindings to elements. Now if we use test clicks, 
or simply hold shift while we click you see we can navigate in different sections of the page so if you add the new section so let, let, let's select here the link and show the code so you see this is important part so href points to the about id about and then the, the actual section you can see it here you see the id is about so if we would add new section we could simply duplicate a navigation item here double click to change the name And then on the link, we will we would change the URL to something else. And on the section that we added, let's say maybe it's this one, we will we also need to set the ID in the section. Okay. Let's change the order also. See it comes right after resume. And then again go page refresh and now we can click on new section and see if it works yeah it does okay that was short introduction to Kelvin Pangrow ready team have a good day bye bye